Hey, what's going on? It's Eric, everyone. Welcome to the video. Uh, I just wanted to... I have a couple things written down here because if I don't write something down, it kind of goes everywhere. But uh, the first would be organization. You want to be organized, especially in the lawn care business. Your trailer wants to be organized. You want your truck to be organized. You want your billing to be organized. Uh, you want, if you are, well, if you're starting out, you probably don't have anyone working with you, but you want all those, all that stuff organized because if not, you're just going to be running a nonprofit organization and it's going to be from the discomfort of your home. Um, I mean, that's really <laughs> the way it'll be. It's going to be hard to really profit. When I say profit is maybe you make however much money in a day, but if you were going to pay an employee to do exactly what you were doing, how much money would have you really made because you would have had to pay them, uh, you know, eight to fifteen dollars an hour to, you know, drive back and get the weed whip you forgot or something like that, where it's just, uh, I, I, I think it's very important to be organized because as you grow and as you get bigger, if you have those challenges now, they're just going to have them later on too. Okay, so the next uh, word of advice I have is. Try not to just keep on offering a bunch of services, even to this day, um, because we have we have a lot of different equipment. I mean, we can do a lot of different things, and I catch myself. Actually, my wife will say, "What are you doing, taking that work on? Like, why? We are you? Do you think you're desperate or something? I mean, if you're desperate and you're trying to make money to pay the bills, then you know you have to do what you have to do. But I mean, the I had a really good client of mine, and they or I should say of ours, ask if, um, well, actually, they didn't even ask. They're getting their driveway uh, regraded, and we have skid steer. So I was like, well, I could probably do that for you if you'd want an estimate. And, and then I didn't even give them the estimate because I just had way too much going on at the time to even do that. But basically, with when, you have, when you're offering a lot of different services, you want to keep your business, in my opinion, is... Um, cookie cutter as possible and that's where you're going to maximize your profits so you, you want to keep look at it as like from a manufacturing standpoint of like you know when if you were in Detroit and where they manufacture cars and they have one person that does this one person that does that one person that does hoods one person that bolts something on uh, whatever it may be what that's going to do is that's going to eliminate basically that's going to get you guys organized it keep you organized so <clears throat> what that so you're not going to have to figure things out every single time instead of trying to figure something out you'll just be making money doing exactly what you do it's going to force you guys to actually market and drive your business deep in specific things that you do rather than keep on expanding into all sorts of different things and you're only making a couple thousand dollars in each one of those services drive it deep learn it inside and out get an expert in that field that's how i believe you can really get an employee and pick up more employees because you actually have work for them to do it's guaranteed that this is what they're doing and then you can teach someone else to do another specific thing or one or two other things so hopefully that makes sense and i really i was just thinking back to when, when we kind of started so and then research the market. Everyone in this whole industry complains about all the low ballers out there. And they're going to be out there because like, the first thing that someone does when they lose their job is want to go into the lawn care industry. But, uh, which isn't, isn't that big of a deal. But um, basically, by researching your market, you won't be like me and charging, you know, 80 bucks or $100 for a fall cleanup when, you know, you can charge three times that actually in some in some circumstances so um those are three really big things another thing is that's not on here is service area don't have a huge service area because because then you're gonna have to be driving all over wasting time gas and everything else basically always treat your business from starting out as if you're paying yourself as an employee and does it make sense for you to go out for you to send an employee out two hours away to do one lawn mowing job once a week and the answer is no especially if you're paying two 
employees to drive out their seat time and stuff like that. You should focus on your marketing and staying closer to the other and keeping your route tight, which is going to, you know, keeping the keeping the people out of the trucks and actually getting paid. So hopefully that helps you guys. Hopefully it brought you some value. You can go to our website for more tips. Thanks. Bye.